Okay, we are gonna do an in-depth tutorial on how to accurately log all of your calories in grams in MyFitnessPal. Now, before we get started with this, I wanna make a quick note to say um, all this is for nothing if you're not weighing your food. So um, this is all under the assumption that you're weighing your food on a food scale. If you don't have a food scale, go on Amazon, type in food scale and order one with good reviews. Um, on your food scale, you'll just switch the settings to grams because grams are more accurate. I think there's 32 grams in one ounce. So instead of dividing ounces uh, into their eighths or twentieths or tenths or whatever, you just type in a gram and it's much more clear and concise and you'll get way more accurate on your intake, uh, your calorie intake, which will of course lead to better results, which is why we're here. All right, moving on. This is what it's gonna look like. I do not pay for the premium version. If you want to pay for the premium version, it's cool. Do you need it? No. So without the premium version, when you log into MyFitnessPal, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions, your age, your height, your weight, your goal, all that stuff. Just follow the prompts. Don't overthink it. Um, it's gonna recommend a calorie star, a, goal, a starting calorie goal for you. Um, what you just will dial it in to what I recommend and the way you do that is um, once you've set up your account and everything it'll kind of look like this um, notice in the top right corner where there's a it says remaining 48 and but it's green um, so if you just push that push remaining 48 it'll show you a screen like this okay and what you can do is you can just select any one of these these um, highlighted percentages so see on the right where it says goal 50 percent for carbohydrates this is mine by the way uh goal 20 percent for fat blah, blah blah so you can just select that select any one of those and just keep selecting the um highlighted one there and eventually you're going to get to a screen that's, that looks something like this and this is where you can customize your calories based off of what we've gone over so if i prescribed you 2000 calories, but let's just say this defaults you to 2300, then you simply just tap the 2300 number and you just go to 2000. Okay. And then you just hit the check mark and it'll automatically adjust. And you can adjust your proteins, fats, and your carbs um, to the prescribed amount that we've given you. Okay. And so that's pretty much how that works. I'm not going to change mine, obviously, because I already dialed mine into what I want it to be, but that's how you would do yours, okay? So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dig into how you accurately add things in. Now, cool features is that you can just select quick copy, so turn on smart copy, smart copy, not quick copy, turn on smart copy. My dog was going crazy. And what that allows you to do is simply just swipe. So I can simply just swipe um, my, your breakfast from one day to the other. So instead of, if you eat the same thing like I do every day, then all you have to do is just turn on smart copy. And then each day you can just simply swipe over the breakfast you had today to, or breakfast you had yesterday to today, and you don't have to enter everything in. But this is my breakfast, okay? Um, so I get I, I tend to do the majority of my calories for breakfast and then lunch and a smoothie and then a small dinner, okay? Anywho, um, let's go ahead and dig in here. So what you're gonna wanna do, let's just start with a fresh day, is your day will look like this, okay? And so you have to add everything in. Now, for breakfast, a typical breakfast would look something like, um, let's say you did, um, a banana okay now what you do not want to do is just simply add a banana because it's going to give you a gazillion different options with a gazillion different calorie grams and totals what you want to do is enter in banana banana right uh, here's mine from this from today and notice how it says 91 grams, right? So first of all, I switched the servings from one medium banana or one large banana because who knows how many calories are in a generic large banana, right? It, it, it changes. Or instead of an ounce or whatever, a cup or all that nonsense, I just go to grams, okay? Boom, grams. And then what I do is I peel my banana and I put it on a food scale. And guess what? It weighed 91 grams. And so I can tell you without a shadow of doubt that that banana that I had today 
was exactly 20.8 grams of carbohydrates, equaling exactly 81 calories. Okay, so you see how specific we can get um, when we do things by the gram and we actually weigh our food and not just type in some generic thing, right? So that's what I want you guys to do. That's what I want your, your headset to get into. All right, so that's how you would type in banana for breakfast. But let's say, okay, so you had a banana. Let's say you had <clears throat> egg whites. Okay, great. So um, egg whites, okay. How many egg whites did you do? Um, let's say you did... We're going to go to milliliters, which, by the way, pro tip is the same weight as grams. So you can do milliliters. So let's say you got like a, like, um, a carton of pre-cracked egg whites and you did um, 50 milliliters. No, that wouldn't be enough. Let's say you did um, 200 milliliters of egg whites. So that would be 22 grams of protein. You just hit the check mark that adds it in there. Okay, so now we're starting to build out your breakfast. Okay, great. So you had one banana. You had 200 milligrams of egg whites and let's say you finish it off with um with some almonds and we're going to switch this to grams of course because we weigh our almonds and let's say you had 15 grams of almonds okay so that this is just a hypothetical breakfast but let's just say that's what it looked like okay so your breakfast was one banana um, 200 milliliters, which is also 200 grams of egg whites, and then 15 grams of almonds, okay? So your breakfast total was 281 calories, okay? And so that's how that would go. And then lunch, um, we don't just type in chicken breast because we know that you're going to get a generic response. And so this is the one I already have pre-built in here, right? Organic free-range chicken, uh, Trader Joe's. So I switched it to grams. Um, and then I typed it in. Now, it reminds me, it might default to fractions. So you're like doing fra with fractions of grams. That's stupid. We don't want to do fractions. We just want to go to the decibel. And we want to type in how many grams we ate. So um, I had 250 grams of chicken breast. Boom. So I put that in there. That was 52 grams of protein, 6.6 .6 grams of fat. All right. I also had... Uh, rice so let's type in rice here uh, we got brown rice I had 250 grams of brown rice so you see that I typed it in there grams and then the number of servings so that was 57 grams of carbohydrate and then let's say you wanted to do an olive oil as your fat and uh, you did 10 milliliters of olive oil so you'd put your carbohydrate or your protein in first you put so pretty much you want to do your carbohydrate first so 250 grams of rice put your your protein in after that so on top of your rice you would you would zero out your food scale and then put 250 grams of chicken breast zero out your food scale and then you'd want to pour 10 milliliters of olive oil over the top completing your lunch and it would look something like this so lunch would be about 665 calories and so if, at the, if you look at the top here the goal is 23 so far i've had 945 and then remaining is 1355 and so then you would just you know have a snack and dinner complete the day just like so okay and now if that let's just say let's say that hypothetical day was what you would do constantly then all you have to do is just swipe it over just copy from date yes yesterday or today actually and then boom it automatically will swipe over <clears throat> your breakfast from whatever day okay so it just makes your life a little bit easier so you don't have to keep adding everything in okay and so that's pretty much how that works guys um you know just get specific get um go to the grams and then switch it to uh, decimals and not fractions fractions is silly you're going to go to decimals instead and you just build out your day like that um, and then you can just keep swiping it over um, there is a little bit of a learning curve so don't get frustrated or discouraged it takes a week before you or two before you kind of like really hit your rhythm with it um, but i'm telling you this is the secret um, to having abs the rest of your life is just count how many calories exactly not within a range like oh i think i had about this now because you trust me you have no idea you're way off but you start measuring everything like this how much half and half did you put in your coffee you know how many 
how many grams of sugar did you put in your coffee? Um, you had an electrolyte packet. Did your electrolyte packet have carbohydrates in it? Because mine did, it was six grams of, of uh, sugar. And so you see how 25 calories here, 50 calories there, 25 calories here. You don't think it matters, but at the end of the day, it adds up to like 250 extra calories. So per month, you're getting like an extra few thousand calories, which could add an extra pound of body fat. And you're wondering why you're gaining a pound of fat every month. Well, there it is. So you get specific with your calories exactly to the gram. And then we can really make some informed decisions based off of data, not how we feel, which of course will lead to um, higher accuracy, which is what we want. There you guys go. Hope that wasn't too complicated. If you have any questions, just feel free to reach out.